And we are now in the sand, sand plain habitat of the rare plant garden. And this area is meant to represent areas of southeastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and some inland areas along the Connecticut River Valley that have very sandy, nutrient-poor soils. Uh, most plants aren't uh, able to uh, grow in these conditions because, again, they're dry and, again, very nutrient-poor. But some of our species have um, adapted uh, been able to, uh, to grow and flourish in these uh, habitats. Among the, these plants is um, the wild lupine, um, which blooms in about uh, June. Uh, right now, it's nowhere to be found. The plant has gone dormant for the season. Um, but it's an important food source, actually, for the Carner Blue Butterfly, uh, which is a, a very small, uh, diminutive uh, butterfly uh, with, a, again, a bright blue color. Um, and it, the larvae feed on this particular uh, plant species. Uh, the wild lupine, however, has become uh, less and less common uh, due to human development and also to su natural succession, uh, where shrubs and trees will grow in an area and uh, shade out uh, the species.